Hey everyone, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I sent out an email uh, yesterday concerning this these long-term memberships that I have where you pay for an annual amount and you get like a year, originally it was two years, so you pay for one year, you get three years. I had another one where you pay, uh, I can't remember if it was a year, you get six months and I've whittled away those bonus time offerings. So now that they're even shorter, um, as of in the next few days, I'm actually gonna be taking away those extra time bonuses, um, just due to the fact of, uh, let me just get rid of that. So um, that, that evoked a big interest. So what I'm doing is, is I'm essentially getting rid of all my memberships that go beyond a year in terms of a bonus. So the maximum term you'll ever be able to buy from me moving forward as of uh, next few days on Friday, uh, you will only be able to get one year maximum. Okay, I'm not gonna be extending those memberships as a bonus beyond a year. So you're just gonna get a discount if you buy a year's worth, you get a five, 10, 20% discount, whatever it is. Okay, so that evoked a question, a set of questions from this person named Chris. Hey Brian, when you say it will vanish within months forever, does that mean if I were to purchase a two year subscription that I would not be able to access some of the material a year from now? That is correct. I have had over five years, and I'm gonna show you the exact stuff. If you watch this video here under my videos on my YouTube channel here, YouTube slash, you can just go to Quant Labs. I have a video there uh, called What You Will Miss in My uh, Elite Membership. That's over 30 you need a website. That's over 30 minutes of um, uh, extra stuff that I usually don't promote. All that's going to disappear uh, come within a few months. So the answer to this question is yes. The logic is is that I'm moving into an analytics service. I've said this before a few times. Uh, originally when I envisioned this website, this business would educate people on how to build out trading platforms. I did not foresee the market. I did not foresee the cloud technology where it's all now free and people expect that. Um, and I don't run businesses like that um, or under the pretense of that. So I'm moving into analytics and uh, pumping out charts and uh, having building a whole private community around it uh, with analysis and some other stuff I'm currently working on. But um, the follow-up is, is, in other words, will the material diminish over the period of my subscription? As I said, with the current material that you're getting here, uh, shown in this video, it will literally disappear within a few months. So all that material is on a timeline, it's on a shelf life, and it's gonna disappear. No questions asked, no, no, no extensions or anything. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm learning about uh, call to action. This is your call to action now, if you wanna get on this, you gotta act now. If you want to basically uh, uh, learn this stuff, uh, and, and I can guarantee you this, I've been doing it for five years now, and when people sign up for my stuff, over probably 95% of the people out there don't use it, they don't implement it, they don't learn it, they don't go through it. So why bother keeping it up there? Um, so I'm gonna remove it. And the other big reason is because I'm gonna be consuming and internalizing all this material for my own needs to pump up my own charts that will eventually become part of my analytic service. So that means, um, to answer his follow-up, in other words, will the material diminish over the period of my subscription? It'll be worse than that. It will be totally um, eliminated. So the value of that material is more valuable right now to me than I'm already offering it. Um, I've been doing these kind of offerings and bonus since uh, the beginning of 2016. Nobody's taken really full advantage of it, so why extend it? Why keep it up there if people are not using it? And on the other hand, as I said, with the extra software demos and all the other material there, nobody's using it, nobody's consuming it, nobody's doing anything with it. So as a result, I'm gonna remove it. And the other thing I'm removing it is because uh, it gives me trading edge where I've done spreadsheets uh, of total amount of algorithms or potential algorithms that can come out of these uh, courses and software demos that I have are, are pushing almost 400 um, algorithms and there's probably literally uh, dozens upon dozens of uh, 
the strategies that could come out of it. So I want to automate them. So that's that's the first major rationale behind that. Number two is um, the current membership is going to radically change if you do decide to join up, take advantage of all the, the current stuff that's there for the next few months. That's cool. Please do so. Take, take, take. That's what you're, you're paying to get access to. Um, but what will happen is the, that does not mean that the current membership will diminish. It won't. Because this is what's going to happen. I'm going to make a new window here. Currently, you're paying for an elite membership of whatever, let's say monthly, $97 a month. That gives you everything for one price. But what's going to happen come, let's say, two months from now or, or starting in 2017, what will most likely start is first, I'm going to have a chat room of traders, just active traders that we're going to be online over a certain period of time during trading hours and saying, hey, check this out, this is what my system is doing, because that is currently being developed. So that's going to be one separate service. There's going to be another total separate service, which is going to be data analytics. Now, just between the two of these, as my business is being evaluated based upon the current value of what the market will, I have the ability to charge based upon my marketing capabilities through various means, both of these services have easily been assessed at easily for what I'm offering at 97 bucks a piece. Okay, so that's already 200 bucks. And if you join now, you're only paying 97. So you're already getting uh, the price of two service, new services for the price of one. That's first. Another set of things that I'm just starting out are workshops, okay? I'm looking at two, two separate workshops. The first one is on interactive brokers. I'll put it in as IB, integrating with TWS using Java, uh, Redis, NoSQL database, uh, and hopefully, hopefully C++ using POSIX in a Linux environment. This right here, this education on a workshop for at least one day, eight hours live, delivered through online, or even in a facility here local to me here in Toronto, you could pay easily probably a thousand bucks for the day. Honestly, that's what I've seen. And you're not gonna get uh, the proven integration with the source code, with the Java project, as well as the, the Redis integration, as well as the demonstration to show you how to uh, use uh, tables from within Redis to integrate with within Java, as well as directly interface with um, the Trader Workstation. Okay, and on top of it, I'm trying to find out if I can add a C++ component into that as well. If not, I have to do that as a separate workshop. So again, this alone, this kind of material alone in an eight hour period live, I could easily charge probably 700 bucks for it on one get go. I'm also looking at a second one of, uh, let's see here if I can do this. A second one on using, if you've been following me uh, enough, um, if you come into my YouTube channel, you come under playlist, uh, you look for um, Apple Tech. Uh, I've been studying this stuff. We know that the PC market is dying off, desktops are dying off, so there's now a new generation ways to deploy software. That's on mobile. Uh, and when it comes to mobile platforms, you really only two choices are either Android or Apple iOS. Okay, you, you know, obviously on watch or iPhone or iPad. Now let me explain something to you very quickly. I made the switch over to back to Mac in December of 2015. I have not looked back. What drove me to that was the stupid, nauseating crap that is coming out of Microsoft these days, specifically around Windows 10 and the forced updates. It drives me mental. Uh, if you follow me on, on Facebook, you know exactly what I'm referring to. But um, I've got a system that I'm consistently cleaning up every friggin' day using Windows 10, and I can never see myself wanting to put my trading system on that because I've confirmed through interactive brokers at the VP level. I've also confirmed through my own broker at RBC that if somebody hacks into that account, I'm SOL, okay? Bleep out of luck, meaning I could lose that money being stolen out of my account. And by the life of God, why would I want to use technology where I have to spend hours upon hours doing deep rootkit analysis using Norton or whatever else and running other software 
uh, on a Windows operating system to keep it clean and virus free. It drives me nuts. And I can't be complacent in the Mac environment, um, uh, but I'll tell you this, call me a fanboy, I don't care. My money is important to me and I wanna protect it. So therefore I have to mitigate my risk when I go online. So that's why I'm using Mac, Mac OS 10, Mac OS, call it whatever you want. And believe me, I've owned four Android phones. Every single one of them have been breached one way or another. I would not, I would not do anything related around Android. Again, people choose what they want. They want to use the inferior technology, let them be. I don't care. It's not my money. My money is my money and I want to protect it and I call it as part of my risk management and that's what I'm doing. So that's why I'm using Apple technology. So when it comes to the um, Apple technology of Swift and iOS, that's what I'm looking at. So I have come to the decision and part of the other problem is when I was with my group from the courses I've been running, the Algo Trading Series and Python, I'll go ahead and tell you something. I like Python a lot. But when it comes to building a graphical user interfaces with Python, it's not easy and it's not stable and it's a flimsy way of running an application. Now, I've also looked at C++ with WX widgets. I have no problem with WX widgets, but I'm going to tell you something. As PCs are dying off, desktops are dying off, I don't want to be chained to a desktop. So I'd rather be um, using iPads or tablets. And when they brought out the iPad Pro, that was it. That was a game changer where I said I'm all in using the iOS as the way to uh, deploy my front end trading systems with my own code. So that's what I'm going to do. So out of that, even though I've done enough rant on that, is to have a Swift workshop, a second one, with charting. And potentially other some really cool stuff that I'm going to build out. Again, this is for my own needs. I'm not intending to sell this. I'm not intending to do any consulting around this. But I will run a second workshop in a few months showcasing what I think of Swift technology um, using the new programming language of Swift and being able to deploy front-end trading charting that will interface again with Redis uh, to present uh, the charts and some other graphical user interfaces uh, using the Swift technology on iOS devices like iPad and the watch for little bullet alerts and, and an iPhone, who knows. But this, this is a really exciting field that no one else is, is really venturing into it. And you know what? To me, it's not about a popularity contest. What is important to me is what works for me with the security in mind, the extra great service I get out of the Apple Store, and just the expectation that very, very, very few times has Apple failed for me on the needs when it comes to my uh, decision to go with a lot of the Apple technology. So I'll definitely be uh, doing a, a complete workshop around that. And again, these are separate workshops and these will be live for eight hours each. Um, and uh, uh, the value of these, as I said, this probably I could do 500 or even a thousand dollars for each seat that uh, wants to be part of that and I could probably do the same cost maybe a little lower with Swift um, but again coming back to the original question will your membership if you join now will it diminish and the answer is absolutely I don't see how it can diminish because it's actually going up because you're getting two extra new access once I make this flip you'll get extra uh, access to these extra new services which again, you're going to get access to the chat room, you're going to get access to the data analytics, and those are going to be uh, probably realistically 97 a month. On top of, you're going to get access to these two workshops, and probably realistically, they'll be worth at least $500 or $1,000 a piece for people who decide not to be an elite member, but want to you know, pay the access for these workshops. But all my elite members will get that for free. Um, so that's part of the plan. Uh, I'm sure there's something else that's not included. Oh, let me let me explain this. These products, once they're finished, they're not going to be part of uh, the, the service anymore. Um, they're going to be sold as separate products. And again, I could probably demand um, maybe 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks for each one. And I may just do that anyways because they're going to be so valuable for certain people that I decide to target when I get my marketing campaign uh, underway in the next few months. So, to come back to your question, 
for what you're getting now or, or could get with the extra uh, couple of months on top of before what the end of Thursday locally uh, Eastern Standard Time midnight uh, you're getting a one hell of a deal if you're gonna do let's say that as you can see here the two year for what a grand uh, you, you get what is it uh, one year and then you get the bonus year uh, after Thursday night that's gonna end and I'm already getting people asking me about my pair trading strategy my arbitrage strategy why how do I know that uh, if you've not seen this uh, a lot of people have been asking about this uh, I'm gonna actually do a new video on this as part of the solution um, but just do the fact that they've uh, joined after the fact and here's what I'm referring to they come under the algo trading business this is what the notion of this whole membership is about um, you know I've got people asking about the pair trading strategy you got three videos here um, the infrastructure building block but you also have this second video here um, on arbitrage and there's a video on that people are asking about it well guess what a few months ago I removed it and they're not gonna have access to it and only a small select number of people have access to it um, and that is going to be part of my upcoming analytics and the reason I took that out is to reward those that 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 were early birds on it on top of it gives me an edge over everybody else and this is a highly prized strategy now because almost daily I'm getting people wanting to know about it what's it about what's the mechanics behind it so on and so forth but we remove that now and um, all this extra stuff is gonna get permanently removed and there's a pile of stuff in there that people don't know about which is um, discussed in this particular video here so I'm just I'm just stressing I know in fact uh, this value of the membership will not uh, decrease because as I said you're gonna get more uh, later on uh, with all these extra services uh, starting in the next few months so uh, if, if you cash that deal before Thursday the end of Thursday you're doing really good uh, otherwise again you're gonna be like the new people that come in <laughs> asking about uh, what's this uh, details on this equity pair trading arbitrage strategy I want it well guess what it was up for a while and you know you slept uh, and that's now gone so all this stuff which is a good bulk what's presented here uh, that bulk of, of that content will be permanently removed and it will be put into uh, my new services here the chat room and data analytics because I'll be able to generate my own charts and no longer use um, my Instagram, which is the source of a lot, pretty well all of it. It's Bloomberg. I want to get out of that and all of that. But when we, I haven't even announced this, but let me explain this. Uh, let me get rid of all this crap. Okay, uh, four. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm doing a TV show, a weekly TV show online. We tested it. Uh, a Facebook um, uh, group. Uh, that I run with just over 8,000 people um, and uh, we've got four or five people that just out of the blue didn't know what I was doing join it was awesome um, and I could stream that onto my Facebook page my Facebook profile as well as my my group of the, those 8,000 people and then put that up on my uh, YouTube channel as well that will be a weekly um, and it's looking we're gonna schedule that uh, in a few Mondays, every Monday, every week, before my private stuff at 8 p.m. standard on Monday nights. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of gonna gang bang everything on Monday nights instead of spreading it out on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So if you know about my meetup groups, um, all of that is now gonna be delivered through this weekly TV show that will be streamed through my Facebook um, groups or pages. All right, so I just want to let everybody know that I am gonna be adding value. It's gonna be all new stuff. And the other big reason I keep forgetting, there's just so much changing around. All the stuff uh, in this video here is what I call legacy. It's fairly old. Um, so a lot of the software in that is, is, is older versions, and I have no idea if they will run on current uh, versions of, let's say, R and Python and MATLAB. That's another big reason why it's going to disappear, because I just don't want to get into the maintenance game of trying to maintain, like, 400-plus potential algorithms on top of the other probably hundreds upon hundreds of postings in there so that's 
why I'm removing all of it. There's so many reasons, but hopefully I'll answer your question, Mr. Uh, Chris, uh, here. And uh, um, I'm hoping whoever's watching this takes advantage of this. And I'm not kidding around when I take stuff out. And it's gone. It's gone. All right? So, uh, just so you know. All right. Hopefully you got some something out of this value. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching, dude.